great Tuesday morning, two, 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 oh, two, one. Yesterday I said there were three sets of two ones, but I'm like, no, it's not the year 2121, it would be a hundred years from now. So it's two, 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 oh, two, one. Sound like a phone number. But happy Groundhog's Day. And they say that we're gonna have six more weeks of winter. I did not need for a little animal to tell me that, obviously, with the beautiful snow outside. And God makes all things new with this brand new morning. We are in the 19th chapter of Leviticus and it's somewhat controversial because so many people are doing this very act. And it's the 28th verse where it says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Another version says, never slash your body to mourn the dead. So some people, you know, are just really suffering and we understand that. And some people might be to the point where they want to kill themselves. If, if no one is around, then I don't want to be around myself. But the Lord will always be with us. So he does not want us to end our life prematurely when someone else's life has been expired. Mm -mm, he still has purpose. And the second part of that verse says, and never get a tattoo. Well, someone who I believe is extremely talented, and there's so many people who, and I get it because I'm an artist, I am for expressing myself and creativity and uniqueness, and someone who is very gifted, I, like I, I mentioned before, is Post Malone. And I'm always curious about the type of markings one places in their body. And he has two tattoos under his eye. One eye has the word always, and the other one under it has tired. And that just makes me sad. Even though he is so popular, and he goes all over the world, and he's in Berlin and Amsterdam and Europe, you know, all over the place, touring. But he's like, he never has time to just... Shoo, and I, that's one thing, I would not want to be a celebrity for that reason because I want to be able to just go out. Well, I believe that what we put on our body does affect subliminally that can go into our psyche and we carry that out in our behavior. If we want to have refreshment, then Let's just be mindful what we put on, what we etch, hopefully is nothing, because God made, it, it, it ends, that verse says, for I am the Lord. So the Lord is the one who is the architect. He's the one who created that being perfectly. So I believe when we add to something in our body, that's almost saying, well, Lord, I need to make this more beautiful. And something Post Malone has also said was that he thought he was ugly before. And I was like, what? He's the most handsome young man with the beautiful eyes. But it's all from childhood, he says. Listen, the Lord made you perfect before he formed you, he knew you, and he called you to do great things. So you might not think that you, you know, are comparable to someone in the media, but know that he beautifies the meek with salvation. And you don't have to have an inch of surgery, makeup. God naturally made you perfect in his image. Do you have anything to respond to any of that, Timoclius? For your generation? Some, some of that stuff, like, take it lightly, because some of the stuff in the Bible is a little outdated. Like, we don't sacrifice animals anymore, so. Mm -hmm. I think it's not that you don't, uh, sometimes people don't think that it's just making their body more beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's just something, it's something like they would remember it and they, they wouldn't have it on them. 
And then, like, then you could say, like, why would anybody work out? Because mm -hmm. God is not working you out. Like, you're working yourself out. So some people just want to improve themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. And God wants us to be good stewards of what he has given us. And there is a scripture in the New Testament where it says, um, exercise profiteth nothing as far as physical exercise, exercise, but godly exercise profits mostly. Listen, the Lord just wants us to manage our bodies. He wants us to pray before we put anything on us in honor of him, right? We want to honor, you know, those who came before us and he'll guide. He'll, if you pray about things before you get a piercing or whatever, the Lord will give his peace no matter what. All right. So let's just enjoy the beauty of the Lord and know that he's always with us.